Hello everybody, what's going on? Brian with Games Under Pressure here. We're taking a look at a game called King Oddball. It's available right now, $5 on the Nintendo Switch. It's in the eShop, you can go download it, although you might not want to. This is actually a mobile game, and it's, it's been out for a while. It's $2.99 on iOS. Unfortunately, if you've been following any Nintendo console over the last 8, 9, 10 years, you know that their eShops have had a problem with shovelware. Because of the popularity of the hardware, there are a lot of developers, a lot of publishers out there that say, okay, well, hey, we made this game. It's going to take us a week to get it up and running on the Switch. We're going to get a few suckers to go out and buy it. And hey, we'll, even, we'll make even more money. We'll recoup some of our losses or uh, increase our, our profits a little bit. And I'm not saying that's what happened here, but it's it's something to think about. This is a mobile game at heart, and you can tell it's a mobile game. It's very, very simple. Now, I have one rule before we get into this. I have one rule. If you're going to make a clone, you have to make it better or at least expand upon the original. King Oddball is sort of a clone of Angry Birds. It just is. The only difference is, as you can see, I'm controlling, well, I'm not actually controlling it, but I play as this big pumpkin head guy with a large purple tongue that shoots, I don't know, candy or striped rocks, something. And you have to time it so that as it's swinging, you let it go and it, 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 hits tanks or soldiers or any number of different things if you do it with only a few of these and um i'm gonna restart because i wasn't really paying attention if you do it with uh, a few you get a better score if you if you have to take all of them to do it well you don't and it's really simple now there are some glaring problems with this game one of them is variety there is zero, zero, zero variety in this game. As you can see here, there are many different sections. They all have this either country or cityscape look to them. The only thing that really changes is the overall color. And this is it. I mean, this is really, really it. I'm playing the diamond, the Hall of Diamonds because you can replay other levels that you've beaten already. And I've actually beaten the entirety of the single player campaign in this. It only took a few hours and it's a good game to bust out if you're like me. I was rendering video, for example, and this was a stupid, stupid time killer. So I got through it pretty quickly, but it's all the same enemies. There are only three types of enemies. There's the tank, okay? There's the helicopter, and then there are soldiers. And the weird thing about it is the difficulty ramps up a little bit, but not that much. It doesn't really get that much more difficult. And there was no level that I really, really struggled with. See, they don't even, they hardly even add any different mechanics. The only mechanic that they add, actually two of them, I should say, are these balloons, which you can use to, to bounce things off of, or the explodey crates. That's it. That's it. And it doesn't really change at all. And I kept thinking, well, you know, maybe they're going to add something. Maybe they're going to add something. <laughs> they never did. They never did. I don't know what I expected for a $5 game, and maybe my expectations are just a little bit too high. That is very possible, but it's not something that I, in, in my personal opinion, I think is worth $5. It's just not. There is a little bit of replay value. Of course, you can always try to get a better score if that's something that you're into, sort of like Angry Birds. There are also a, a number of bonuses that you can do where you, you throw either like grenades in these in these different uh, modes. But all of it is, is roughly the same concept with the same enemies, with the same core gameplay mechanic. Uh, at least Angry Birds actually mixed it up. There were many, many different enemies in Angry Birds. There were, uh, you know, different things like the enemies would wear hats, for example, and that would mi mix things up. Or, you know, there were different power-ups that you could use. And I'm not saying Angry Birds is this incredibly deep game because it is absolutely not a deep game. But, you know, it's it's deeper than this. Here's one of those bonus modes. It's the ability to just sort of do everything with grenades that you were doing before. And you can see it's the same blocks. It's the same everything. It's the same enemies. It's just all of it again. And it's easy, you know. So I haven't gone through these side things. I've just done the main campaign. 
but it's it's not compelling. I'm not compelled to go in and play any of this. In the time that it takes to play something like this, you could get through a few matches in Mario Kart, you know, or make some progress in Axiom Verge or whatever. But there are better things to do with your time. Play Super Mario Odyssey. I heard that's pretty good. I heard that's a pretty good game. Tough to recommend this one. Again, it's five bucks, so it's not gonna it's not gonna kill you. It's not gonna hurt your wallet too much, but it is a case of you definitely get what you pay for. It's a very simplistic game. So I'll show you a few more things here. No, that that really sucked. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go back to the world map. I'm going to show you some of the bonus modes. Nothing incredibly compelling. What is this? Okay, stats. Oh, yeah. We'll go to stats really quick. You can see that the main quest is 100% completed. It took me about three hours. And a part of that was just screwing around. Part of that was leaving the game running. I don't know if that counts, but I know I left the game running. It doesn't feel like I've played the game for three hours. But, you know, that being said, like, I got three hours worth of gameplay out of it so in, in terms if you just look at it as a monetary proposition as a value well it could be argued that i did get my money's worth out of it do i think this is an incredibly cheap cash grab i don't i don't i think there are some people that will like this game and if you're one of them hey more power to you I, you know i'm happy for you that you get a cool fun game uh, for five dollars but for me it just doesn't really cut the mustard it's not super compelling i think angry birds is much better it's a much better experience much deeper experience and honestly who doesn't have a mobile phone on them unless you're a child the chances are you're going to have a mobile phone on you much more regularly than you're going to have a nintendo switch so just stick with angry birds this game is not super not super great it, it, it is the game is I know that's really intelligent commentary but the game just sort of is and if you want a game that is that hey five bucks whatever uh, you could spend your money on many 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 worse things but not not super great that is gonna about do it thank you guys so much for watching I can't tell you how much I appreciate it I really do if you're interested in seeing other Nintendo Switch games up and running I got a lot on my channel and I'm gonna be doing more uh, believe it or not I have a full library of Nintendo Switch titles I have every single Nintendo Switch title that's come out so if there's a game that you want me to do a video on hey you can always request it in the comments below I'll be happy to add something uh, you know I just started doing videos again after about a year so uh, I'm behind. I'm behind. And I probably won't do all the Nintendo Switch titles because I think there are 200. They just crossed the 200 mark the other day. But, you know, if, if there's something in particular you want to see, let me know and I'll do it. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you next time.